Nick is back with tons more heat. Let's hop in the Subi, you can take the front seat with a mic in my hand and a cam by my side. I'm bringing you updates, no need to hide. Repping the merch, the brand in bold. Beanies to keep you cozy and the jackets for the cold. Sipping from a mug, big bear style. Funny designs that will make you smile. Gifts for the kids, your dad and your mom. Check it out at BigBearWeatherAndMore.com. Good day, everybody. It is March 14th, 2024 in Big Bear Lake, California. And look what we got going on. And it looks like the forecast has changed, you guys. We could see up to a foot of snow now. And it just changed within the last hour. So this is amazing. Uh, literally an hour ago, it, it, it said four inches of snow within 48 hours, and now it's showing up to a foot. So this is great. It is starting earlier than expected. Hope you guys are looking forward to it tonight, the 14th of March, where you could get five to eight inches of snow tomorrow during the day, one to three inches, and some more snow lingering on into the evening, as well as Saturday, some lingering snow showers, maybe up to an inch of snow. But yeah, it's great news. Super excited for the ski resorts and for you guys who are coming up here to have a good time. Anyway, I hope everyone's great. Remember, if you want to help support the cause, go to BigBearWeatherMore.com. Get yourself some of this awesome new merchandise that we've got going on. It's a great way to support the channel. There's also other ways to support in the description of the videos. There's other, other methods. It is very much appreciated and extraordinarily helpful. So thank you. So yeah, guys, this is exciting. This is exciting. We have a live feed going on right now. We got 18 people on the live feed right now, just hanging out, chatting, enjoying themselves. So hopefully you guys hop over to the live feed after you watch this video. Come hang out with us. <clears throat> and those of you coming up to go skiing and snowboarding, if you need ski rentals or anything ski and snowboard related, you need to go to this place right up here on the left called Get Boards best ski and snowboard rentals in town they are one and two blocks away from the village because there's two shops this is the ski shop on the corner right here and then on the next block right here same type of a location right on the corner is the ride shop so yeah go in to get boards tell them I sent you they'll take care of you and if you bring your own equipment in your own skis or snowboards they will wax it free of charge if you mention you're a friend of the channel. Very knowledgeable staff, great staff, tremendous products. I think you guys will be stoked. Actually, I know you guys will be stoked, and I've had a ton of reviews already that you guys are super, super happy. And one more little plug. One more little plug. When I first moved up here, a, a gentleman named Sahil, who owns Big Bear Smoke and Vape, um, they've got more, more than just smoke and vape stuff, especially at their main store on Big Bear Boulevard in Big Bear City. I have their information in the description of the videos also. Basically, this guy made me feel so welcome up here. And because I used to be into the vape and smoke stuff, not, not so much anymore, but it was by far the best prices up here. I used to drive down the mountain and buy in bulk so I could save, but He's definitely a really, 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 really good guy who takes care of all of you guys. Good business person, a kind soul, and he deserves any business that you guys are willing to give him. Again, I, I, I try to send you guys to the folks who actually care about the tourism. This is great. It wasn't supposed to start this early. We got some good sized snowflakes coming down. Temperature's 35 degrees right now. We do gotta stop by that Big Bear Brewery. Since I don't drink, I haven't been in there yet. But I've heard they're very friendly. 
I hear a, a lot of good reviews about them. So um, just because I don't drink doesn't mean that I shouldn't go in there and see what they're all about because I do want to give you guys as good of an experience as possible when you come up here. So I need to go into all these places. So we're headed towards the snowiest part of the, the entire valley. I was hoping by the time we'd get all the way over here that we might see a little bit of color transformation on the ground. But of course it's not snowing good enough yet and it still is, as I said, about 35 degrees. cleaned up quite a few of the potholes but there's still a good amount like what that guy just ran right over right there I'm truly hopeful f for this storm now because usually the closer you get to its impact and if they raise the amount of precipitation, that's always a really good sign.
ugliest part of Big Bear Valley, as far as the valley floor is concerned. skin. Temperatures dropped to 34. The lake is looking pretty choppy right now. It's not all that windy. Actually, it might be. Where I live, we're surrounded by a, a couple larger buildings, so it really kind of hides us from a lot of the wind. But you'll, you'll see the lake looks pretty darn choppy right now. Look at that. There's some white caps out there. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh, that totally makes sense, brother. It totally does. I just never even considered it. Now that I think about it, it makes absolute sense. But yeah, I've never even considered that. So good for you for actually being vigilant. tell way out here in the Baldwin area there's not any weather coming down I, I can see kind of clear skies out there it's amazing how that works up here guys it really is amazing they'll get something from this but nothing remarkable Look at this, there's just nothing out here. No snow anywhere. There's a patch. Once we get around this corner, towards some of a wild, towards a wildlife area, we'll definitely be seeing some more snow around this bend right here on this same side. Look, there's nothing here, but right around the corner, there should be. Look, <laughs> how funny is that? 
but this part of the hill doesn't see a lot of direct sunlight, so that's why they still have a good amount of snow. fawn skin right now and guys there's a hotel over here that I've done a lot of research on recently I'm definitely gonna stay here with with my wife soon it's just because I work on the other side of the lake and I have to do an awful lot of driving it'd be kind of a pain pain in the butt for me but I'm telling you guys this place looks amazing you can't book the room on Expedia or hotels.com or anything like that it's called the outpost big bear and it's right on, it's right on the Grout Creek tributary. A cute little romantic spot. The rooms looked awesome. The owners seemed super cool. So to book a room there, you need to go to the outpostbigbear.com. Let's see here. Here's Grout Creek tributary, flowing a little bit. Very nice, very nice. Wish I would have brought my soda with me. consistent light snow flurries throughout this whole entire drive. This is definitely considered snow flurries. Nothing more. houses right here would be so nice right on the lake man right on the lake and a beautiful part of the lake as well this side of town is very quiet you guys this is Fonskin we're just about to leave Fonskin now but it's, it's a great part of town if you want to get away from the hustle and bustle of all all the tourism and stuff like that come over to Fonskin or go out to Irwin Lake or Baldwin Lake.
we're definitely moving in the right direction. The colder we get, the more moisture will be squeezed out of the storm also. So let's keep dropping temperature, let's keep dropping. Turning on Stanfield cutoff. We're still getting the snow flurries. And we're getting close to the end of this video. Of course, when it starts snowing hard a little bit later, we will be back out having some fun in the roads, guys. But safe, we'll be safe. And as I said, I don't know if you can tell, but out in Baldwin is where that cloud ends. Just amazing. It's always like that. Well, guys, until a little bit later, I love you guys. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for being part of the Big Bear Weather and More family, because you certainly are. You guys are the family. I wish you all a great rest of your day. And those of you who are coming up here, get up here in one piece and have a great time when you get here. Peace out, guys. It's March 14th, 2020.